out with Mike at the local park. Uh, there was considerable frost last night. Just trying to I'll show you a little bit. Uh, there's a bit of uh, uh, snow on the ground. I'm just the grassy parts are still frozen, but the sunshine could hit them, and uh, they might be okay a little bit later on. Just uh, hunting this patch of uh, uh, with leaves, and it's it's okay. Just got my first Georgie for the day, George the Sixth Penny, 1945, I believe. Okay, keep keep looking. See you on the next. All right, guys, out with Mike. Hold on, I don't want to show too much of the part. And Mark, Mark, marks the spot. What is? X marks the spot. X mar skid marks. The spot. Skid marks the spot. <laughs> Check out his channel. He digs a lot of goodies. All right, I got something. I don't know yet what that is. Let's see. Look kind of silvery, but it turned over, so it's right here. Where was it? It was sticking out somewhere. Oh, is it right there? Is that it or no? Yeah. It's a tiny little sliver? Hold on. Okay. Let's break this up. Looks silver. Don't tell me it's a regular time. <laughs> oh, not again. I got nickeled. Is it nickel? Yeah, nickel. it's a nickel. That's why it was ringing so high. I, I, I forgot about the signal. Well, this is going to be your silver. Hey guys, uh, Mike and the Mark were de are detecting the field. I decided to try this little hill I've been getting uh, I think I got like three George pennies several young Elizabeth pennies pennies uh, probably good seven eight total and uh, like Mikey says sooner or later you're gonna get something good when you keep digging those pennies so I got something here it's awfully dirty but it looks silver underneath it too much I'm gonna get some water I think it's old I think it could be really old all right I'm gonna splash it a little bit and I'll get back to you all right I'm back let's see what that is a lot of sunshine here it's definitely something old very crusty do I see a George? Okay. Yes. It's a dime. It's very dirty. Oh yeah, it is. Nice. Very dirty. Super dirty. Been there a while. Trying to want to get the date off of it. Yeah, it's looking to the left. Yeah, George the fifth. Thin edge. Can I get a date over this? Yes, nineteen thirty, I think. Thirty-six. Nineteen thirty-six. Last year. All right, last year, Georgie. I don't have that dime yet. Nice. All right, it's been like uh, twenty minutes at least. I got a uh, good signal. And uh, I got a first one for this year, King George the Fifth Penny. Let's see the year. Hmm. Seems a bit crusty. Or dirty. Might clean up, okay. It's 
from the 30s, 33, 1933. Cool. All right, the same area. I swung the swung the coil over the uh, where I got the King George the fifth penny. A little bit to the side. Uh, there was another signal, bouncy. I figured I'll dig it. And it's something a little bit more shiny. I suspect that this is going to be my first King George V nickel. Let's see. Oh no, actually it's not. Not King George V. But it is George VI. 1937. I don't have that year. Nice. Alder nickel. Let's swing again and see what's here. All right, this better be either a TTC token or a fish scale. Right here. Basically sounded like a, a pull type of beaver tail, maybe a zinky, somewhere in that range. Let's take a look. I don't think it's a token. It is a TTC token. Ah, uh, I got token just like Mike t earlier today. Shite. All right, can't even use this one. All right, uh, nothing much since then. Just got a toonie. Has been been sitting here for a while. All right, I've been digging penny after penny, but finally I got a dime. It's a newer one, just a little bit, but it's nice to get two dimes, one older one and one newer one. What is yours? Is 62. Cool, nice. Okay, time for a wrap up of this uh, hunt with. Uh, Mike Digging Canada and uh, Mark Skid Marks the Spot. Go check out his channel, um, Skid Marks the Spot. He's actually probably going to be uh, changing his name to something a little bit more uh, user friendly or easily to re easy to remember. Uh, anyway. Uh, Go check him out, uh, a really nice guy, I'm sure we'll hunt together again. Uh, to the finds we go, a whole bunch of uh, modern pennies, did not count them, but uh, there has to be at least 30 of them, a uh, bunch of little screws or whatever, what have you. Uh, Couple keys, uh, little, little button, copper button, nothing special, I guess. Uh, part of uh, an older shaving machine um, from a toy gun, I believe, uh, revolver. Uh, couple pieces of copper piece of uh, it's either copper or cast iron might be copper from some kind of a dish or whatever and a couple dog tags so not not too much uh, in terms of garbage uh, finds uh, well most of the bottle caps and uh, and other stuff I already threw out uh, the coins and a couple other more memorable things. Right here we have uh, this uh, little button. Is uh, there's some uh, enamel on it? Uh, you can barely read that it was patented in 1924. Uh, made out of aluminum. Uh, our local Toronto Transit Commission. Subway token 
from the 60s. A little yellow marble. A uh, little pen for, for Carl DeFaria, MPP, for Ontario. I think that's like uh, 90s, 2000s. Um, about uh, these are here, I got about 20 old uh, pennies. These here are, are 56, this young Elizabeth pennies, 53 to 64. Um, here I got uh, another eight, uh, eight uh, King George V coins. They're all fairly poor condition from that spot. And uh, I got three Wheaties. Uh, one, uh, one was 30, another one was 35, and another one was, I think, 40, 40 Sweeney. It's a couple of older pre-war Wheaties. Uh, not too much in clad. Uh, two Roses, 80s and 2000s. And uh, what is it? Two... 20 to 35 in uh, in clad and uh, for good coins this one here uh, George V penny not the oldest one 1933 got the 1937 first year of King George the sixth nickel nice little rainbow patina on it it's not focusing very well for some reason okay you've seen those and a couple of I cleaned them up already they were in pretty bad condition but the uh, they cleaned up pretty well. 1934, um, King George V dime. Not the worst condition. It's a little beat up uh, on this side, scratched up, but uh, but overall uh, pretty decent. And in 1964, uh, dime. Queen Elizabeth, so two dimes. Um, Mark, uh, Mark got a couple older coins uh, uh, as well, and uh, Mike did really well. So uh, go see their videos and uh, and uh, check out what they got. So uh, we saved a total of uh, I think nine silvers that day. Um, and a couple other older coins, so uh, please check their channels out, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.